Hi there guys, my name is David, you are watching Vival Automotive and today's video is going to be all about the owners of this car, the McLaren B1. So sit down, relax and enjoy today's video. The McLaren B1 is McLaren's top of the line model from 2013. It has got a 3.8 liter twin turbocharged V8 engine producing 903 horsepower. Of course, in combination with the electric uh, engines as well, it's a hybrid after all. It is limited to only 375 units worldwide, so quite a bit rarer than the Ferrari, LaFerrari or the Porsche 918. And I was fortunate enough to see quite a few of them thus far, and it's one of my all time favorite cars. I mean, I just love the lines, I love the look. I love the engine and everything about it and apparently I'm not the only one because quite a few celebrities purchased one of the P1s as well. The first celebrity on today's list is The Weeknd, or Abel Makonen Tesfaye. Um, he's a Canadian songwriter, singer and producer who's from Toronto but currently resides in LA. He came up with multiple hit songs over his career such as um, The Hills, Starboy or, or The Blinding Lights. And The Blinding Lights was pretty much everywhere in 2020 so if you haven't heard it you must have lived under a rock or something. The video clip for the song The Starboy features a scar collection and there's a Bentley in there, there's a Lamborghini Aventador SV and lastly, a candy red McLaren P1. The car is also featured in the lyrics of the song with a line, I've got P1 cleaner than your church shoes. And um, yeah, the P1 really does look quite clean in the video clip and in real life as well. I just love this candy red paint on the car. The next car on today's list belongs to Mr. Lewis Hamilton and I'd be very surprised if you didn't know who he is. But anyway, just for the recap, he's a 7 time World F1 Champion and alongside Michael Schumacher he's the driver with the most championship titles in Formula 1 which is just absolutely insane. He has a huge passion for cars and a huge car collection as well and the car collection includes cars such as the Pagani Zonda, the McLaren P1, the Ferrari LaFerrari or yeah, just a, just a bunch of other cars, I don't even remember all of them, but it's huge. With such an extensive car collection, it is no surprise that there is also a light blue McLaren P1 in it. His car is parked in some garage in Monaco and it pretty much never gets driven. There's only a few pictures of it on the internet when he was taking delivery of it in like 2015 or whatever. So yeah, that's quite a shame. <laughs> Another F1 driver on today's list who also lives in Monaco and actually kind of drives his McLaren P1 is Mika Hakkinen. Mika Hakkinen won two drivers championships with McLaren, I think it was in the late 1990s, maybe early 2000s, not really sure to be completely honest. But anyway, it is no surprise that he owns a McLaren hypercar, the McLaren P1 as well. The difference between him and Lewis Hamilton is the fact that he actually drives his McLaren P1 quite regularly and if you come to Monaco, I mean, there's quite a high chance that it's going to be parked in front of the casino or Hotel de Paris. Jay Leno is an American actor, comedian and TV host and he too owns a McLaren P1. He started his career as a TV comedian but perhaps his most famous role was the host of the late night show from 1992 all the way to 2014. While hosting this show he must have acquired quite a bit of wealth because he's got an extensive car collection which includes the McLaren F1, the holy grail of all cars. I've done a full video about the owners of this car so check it out um, in the link over there. But then he also owns the BAC Mono and just a bunch of, bunch of cars. He's got a whole show about his car collection which is called Jay Leno's Garage. So yeah, you can check it on YouTube as well. Next up on today's list is Mr. Manny Koshbin, who is a real estate investor, um, author and a YouTuber as well. His channel has got over 1 million subscribers to date. He immigrated to the US from Iran when he was only 14 years old and since then was able to build a real estate empire in California and collect a few cars in the process. His car collection includes cars such as the Bugatti Chiron, the Pagani Huayra, the McLaren Senna and 5 McLaren Mercedes-Benz SLRs. His McLaren P1 started life as a standard white car, I believe, but then he sort of changed it to a chameleon spec, then he changed it to a um, full exposed carbon fiber spec and that's how the car looks today. Personally, I enjoyed the chameleon look on the P1 most, probably out of these three sort of looks. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And last but not least is Deadmau5, the Canadian music producer, DJ and artist who is known for wearing a huge mask uh, which is sort of looks like a mouse 
on his concerts. He has had a really successful musical career and owned quite a few cars such as the Ferrari 458 Italia, which he famously wrapped, changed the logos and everything about the car and then Ferrari sent him a cease and desist order because he they didn't like that he changed the Ferrari logos to Ferrari. Um, yeah, that was quite a funny thing. Of course, the Ferrari 458 wasn't the only car that he customized because um, he also customized his McLaren P1, which was uh, blue from the factory. But then before he went on the Gumball 3000 rally, he, he's done this sort of uh, really funky poker card wrap, which I actually kind of enjoyed. But anyway, these have been all the McLaren P1 owners for today's video. Uh, thank you very much for watching up until the end. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more automotive content every week. Hopefully, see you next time.